I see some idiot in the uh, comment section. Static twelve seventeen says J.K. Scott got got. It's like yeah, okay, mm -hmm. all right, dude. Boo. You know that guy that was returning it. What's his name? Ke uh, Keelan Cole. Keelan Cole. He ran eleven two nine hundred in college. It's the fourth fourth fastest. A uh, hundred meter dash in his school's history, or something Jeez. like that. Whatever you're talking about, returners, you're talking now. Granted, J.K. Scott should have laid out. Like I, I think J mm -hmm. the, how close J.K. was whenever he got juked, problematic. Okay, that is something that we should. He should have. He should have shot his shot way earlier than that. Mm -hmm. But J.K. was. You know, I don't know what he was trying to do. He definitely got shook. I mean, mm -hmm. that's going to happen. But people are tweeting as if he got shook by like their uncle in a backyard <laughs> football game. This is a freak athlete out here. Mm -hmm. But everybody. Wants wants to talk about how he outkicked his coverage, okay? And the lazy ass commentators go, oh, he outkicked his coverage. And granted, I think it was like 35 mile an hour winds or something like that, or 30 mile an hour winds. So maybe he didn't hit the best ball. It's probably a bit low, maybe too far. But anytime you hear somebody say they outkicked their coverage, maybe it's true. Maybe you kicked it too far and uh, you kind of fucked everything up. But usually that is just a very lazy way by commentators uh, to not have to explain what's going on with the coverage. So, for instance, Riley Dixon yesterday hit a 71-yard punt. Everybody's losing their mind. That's a great punt, okay? 71-yard punt. Yeah, to do that, by the way, you have to hit the ball what? Very fucking far, okay? How do you do that? Well, you have to drop the ball a little bit lower. You have to go ahead and turn that thing over. But what if a guy catches that and takes it all the way back because he outkicked his coverage? Like, there's there's so much contradiction and hypocrisy in the outkicking of the coverage thing that is just so stupid. If you really wanted a punter to just kick where his coverage would be perfectly you're looking at like a 41 yard ball every single time and if somebody had that they'd be like probably 16th or 17th in the in the league you'd be calling for their job we love the punters that boom balls and flip field like that's the purpose of doing it but every once in a while you're going to kick it a bit farther than you expected and if your coverage team is worth a single shit and makes a play nobody even talks about it it's a round of applause 55 yard change of field position that's a big play. Hey, Woo. that's a big play. Nice and anytime the returner takes it and scores, everybody's like, well, the punter out kicked his coverage because it's just an easy way to pawn all the blame off on the one particular position that has been ridiculed and made fun of since the beginning of football without talking about the coverage, which was atrocious. This isn't absolutely... Now, granted, I think there's a lot of injuries on the Packers team, and when there's a lot of injuries, normally that means you're signing guys that are probably supposed to be in the CFL or something like that to play special teams. Uh, there's a chance that some of these guys might not have even been on the roster as of Friday or Thursday. They might have had a workout and they got signed up. So there is a chance that these players are being thrown into a position that they've never been in. But everybody can see on this picture that there is five guys single file line, okay? A punt coverage is supposed to look like a net. It's supposed to be like a net. Everybody knows inside shoulder, inside shoulder, keep the ball on the inside shoulder or whatever. And you're never supposed to follow the same color and lane and there's everything like that. But whenever you hear commentators go, oh, he outkicked his coverage, and then he gets shook. It's like, well, he fucked up the punt, and he got shook. It's like, well, let's just bury this guy. And it's like, well, okay, he did get shook. Okay, let's bury him for looking unathletic in that moment mm -hmm. against a uh, collegiate track star. Uh, but then let's also talk about his coverage being worth a single fuck in the, in the moment, which is exactly what happened yesterday. So that kind of worked me up a little bit. Because anytime you hear a commentator go, he outkicked his coverage, your immediate thought is, have you ever played special teams? Okay. Hmm. Do you even know what that means? And why are you talking the way you are instead of explaining a very simple concept that literally one person can block five people in this particular point, and that's not good for anybody? No, yeah, I mean, I, I texted you right after this happened. I was like, was that a dog shit punt? Because you know, maybe, came... maybe by the way, I didn't have a stopwatch on mm -hmm. it. Might have been a bad, <laughs> might have been a bad punt. Which probably it looked like it came in low. Whenever I watched the replay back, it looked like it was a low ball and everything like that. Which JK's got to fix. But you're talking about very windy day, right, so maybe yeah. he's not going to be perfect. But I think the most egregious act there on that punt team was that coverage team being in a straight mm -hmm. line, and the commentators just add ah, that punter out kicked it. Then he got shook. Fuck him. He doesn't have a family or a life to make. He's the punter to hell with him. It's yeah. bullshit. And that really is, you know, pretty much like if you came in late and didn't see the whole thing, like that's what you heard and you just assume like, uh, okay, it was a dog shit punt yeah. and he got, he got, you know, embarrassed. But, but instead today in the special teams meeting, they're stopping it right there and they're just taking the laser pointer and circling those five people. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what is this right here? So that was a little frustrating, uh, but you know, happy it gave us a chance to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, kind of changed. It's good the, to shed some light. Yeah, it is good to change some light.